going to tell me, you know, uh, you know, there are going to be long periods where you're not working. You know, don't let it get you down. Find something to do. Write. You know, uh, do plays. Um, it's just part of the job. What would you tell your younger self? That's what I would tell my younger self. Uh, you know, you, you're not as important as the story is the, mo is the first thing I would say. Because I didn't get that indoctrination. You know, I got, I got a different kind of what didn't serve me. And I had to meet uh, the right people to, to unlearn the stuff that I was taught when I first came aboard. Um, and that was that, you know, we have, to, we have to try to make the stuff interesting. We have to try to be interesting. And that, that's just, that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, listen. You, you, you're a fan of 24. You've talked about it a lot. And, and, and that's what brought us together, certainly. Mm -hmm. and, 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 man, we didn't even have to do anything to make that interesting. The story was interesting. We just had mm -hmm. to show up and stand there and say our lines and, uh, and invest ourselves in it as, 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 to, the, to the degree that we were capable and uh, focus and concentrate. And we believed the situation, and that's what brought you guys along with us, right? And for you, what would you say is the key to longevity in this business? Don't, don't give up. <laughs> Seriously, if you quit, you're not going to last long. If you know, uh, you gotta, you know, you gotta just stick with it. And lastly as well, what's one thing that people or even fans per se wouldn't know about you that would surprise them? Oh, God. You mean like a deep, dark secret? Anything. Even if it's a, sk a certain skill or a talent or... Um, because as you know, like, you know, we're both in the business and you know fans have a way of not separating the character from the person. So when they meet, a, like say they're a person they're a fan of, they expect yeah. to get that character. And then when they don't get that, because I mean, they always say, you know, don't ever meet your heroes because sometimes they disappoint you. But like for you, mm. like if someone was to meet you, what would they, what would surprise them about you that they wouldn't know? Um, God, I just, I just told somebody something too. And they said, what? That you mean like that kind of thing? Where they yeah. Just go, yeah. Um, and I can't, now I can't remember what it was. It's almost like I just suddenly got, got really boring and, and, and uh, there's nothing about me that anybody would, you know, that everybody just goes. Mm. I doubt that. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt that. Because you have, you have so many different facets and layers to you as a human. I guess that, you know, that I grew up in Alaska. I don't know how many people know that. And what was that like? I mean, how, how does someone go from Alaska to the bright lights of Hollywood? Because, I mean, this is the thing. Like, I have so many people, number one, that always say to me when they're starting their journey in this business, you know, they're always like, you know, I'm living in a shit town. There's no opportunity here. You know, and I always used to say to people, number one, is that when you live in a, a place that you say that has no opportunity, I think that's the best place. Just because there's no distraction. Yeah. Plus, when, right. you, when you do do something, if you do it good, you do it first. And it allows people to focus on you than having them focus on somebody else. Mm -hmm. and, and, and to me, I guess you would say that when you reach the dance of, as you know, of show business, of this, this business, as you say, it's so unpredictable. And we get, it's the one industry that we're going to hear no more than any other industry in the world is to be able to prepare yourself to be like, okay, that time that you weren't, as you say, in this dead end town, that's the time to work. That's the time to put in the work. Because yeah. again, yeah, I was going to say the other, the only other thing that if, if, if the thing that would take you away from that mm -hmm. security of that place to pursue more deeply, uh, whatever that thing is, okay, that's the thing that you're, uh, you know, that that's what drives you then that is your calling, man. That's what I would say. Whatever gets you out of that, that, that place that you're stuck in, or even, even, if, even if you're stuck in a good way, you know, like you love it and you're secure there, 
if it takes you away from that, that's your calling, you know, because you've got to go, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm, I'm sure you've had this question asked to you many times as well, just like I've had to ask. You get people who say, you know, I always wanted to act. I always wanted to be an actor, but I don't know how. What would you tell them? I know what I tell them, but what would you tell them? I'd say go, go audition for a play. Go, go to community theater. Go to community college. Go, go uh, you know, wherever you go. Get up there and learn, you know, learn how to stand up there and, and completely give yourself to this make-believe world so that when you walk off the stage, you go, wow, where, where was I? You know, uh, James just disappeared and I went into this other world. You know, that's the feeling. We're, 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 I told you, that's, the, that's what we're chasing. Mm -hmm. So go find a place to do that. And, and uh, I mean, I wouldn't even say, uh, until you get the feeling for that, if you really want to do that, don't find a, a, you know, a teacher that, that teaches you how to, to put the story first, you know. And, 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 and here's the other thing that I would say. Uh, you know, so many actors, I've seen so many actors as a teacher, too, and, and worked with them, where they, they, they just think like actors. Mm -hmm. They think, you know, actor thoughts. And, and, and the, the, the point that we're doing is we're, 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 we're human beings, man. Mm -hmm. we're, hu we're human beings first. Mm -hmm. our, our imaginations are unlimited as human beings. As actors, they're pretty limited. Mm -hmm. So I would say... And put put your, you know, put those actor thoughts aside and find some a group of people who think like you do and 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 want to serve a story that's, you know, the great stories that have been told in in, in literature and 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 find those things to 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 work on and and forget yourself. I agree. I totally it's really, agree. It's really hard to do because then you come to a business that completely about uh, serving you now. Hold on before. Before I, before I get. Cut off here. Hold on. I plug plug myself. <laughs> uh, yes. What's this person saying? What the fuck? Oh yeah. Thanks. Are you cool, man? Hold on a second, let me. So hard to try to find a damn hole in here. <laughs> you plugging in your battery, your cable? Yeah. I'll just keep talking about this then. Um, Oh, yeah, you're talking about uh, coming into a place where, where it's all about self and yeah, self-serving. Yeah, and, and, and you know, fortify that, that ability so that when you get into that environment, you can, you can protect yourself from it because it, it, can, it can distract you. It can, it, can, uh, it can cause you a lot of pain. Um, I, I, when I was teaching, uh, I, I once had a student who came to me and said, would you sign this thing that, that tells my, my agent that I'm ready to start auditioning? I just went, wow. And I, I think I said to them, you know, listen, you need to think about maybe getting another manager. Because if, if you have a manager that needs a teacher to tell you that you're ready, that your client is ready to start auditioning, and you, you're, you're missing out on the, this, this client's humanity. Mm -hmm. And so how are you, how are you going to be able to sell them if you don't understand who they are as a human being? Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they were ready from based on what you saw to, to audition the minute they walked into your office, if you were, if you were able to observe humanity. Mm -hmm. And so I just said, no, I, you know, I just tell your manager that you, you were ready when you met. Your teacher said that you were ready when you met. And, and they just didn't know it, you know. Said, what you're, just, what yeah. you're describing is, is what has deterred my husband from the pursuit. He would much rather create something that he believes in than chasing after a role that has no meaning to him. Yeah, that's right. We should all we should all only do things that have meaning for us, you know, personally, right? I mean, we're not we're not. I'm not talking some deep philosophical thing here. That's just human nature is to do the things that 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 light a fire under us, you know, that that inspire us. And mm -hmm. and and as we're inspired, other people will be inspired when they watch what we do, right? 
do you do you do you ever do you ever like like have ever been in a situation where you work with somebody where they've done a scene and it's inspired you? Well, you know, I mean, you're talking about somebody's work ethic or, uh, I mean, if you're in a scene with them, you know, I mean, I'm not thinking actor thoughts. I'm not thinking, oh, my God, this person is fantastic. Mm -hmm. that's, not a Bill, that's not a Bill Buchanan thought. You know what I'm okay. saying? Um, but after the, sh after the shot, sure, you go, man. I mean, like, I remember Pat Hingle the famous character actor when I did cat on a hot tin roof with him, okay. we did it together. We did it together on stage uh, twice actually in, in okay. a 10 year span. And after one performance, we were walking back to the dressing room and he turned to me and stopped, stopped and turned and said, well, man, that's, that's what it's all about. Because we had just been brick and big daddy. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, thank you. I just got my five minute call, brother. Okay, so uh, I'll, I want before we go. I want I just want you to thank you, Jim, for joining me tonight, joining us on another edition, episode nineteen of Hot Topics Celeb TV .com. Before you go, I just need you to give us a little plug, and I need you to say two things. Yeah, first one would be, Hi, I'm James Morrison. You can find me on Hot Topics Celeb TV. Okay. Second one would be, Hi, I'm James Morrison. Bill Buchanan from Twenty Four. You can find me on dteflon.com. Okay. Um, so the first topic. one will be Hot Topic Celeb TV. Okay, ready? Yep. Hi, I'm James Morrison. You can find me on Hot Topic Celeb TV. And the second one would be Hi, I'm James Morrison. CTU Director Bill Buchanan from 24. You can find me on dteflon.com. Hi, I'm James Morrison. Bill Buchanan on 24. You can find me on dteflon.com. James, it's been an absolute honor, a privilege, my brother, to have you in here. I had actually was trying to connect some fans in here, but before we go, we'll take a couple questions. If you fans want to ask some questions to James real quickly here, and then we'll let you go for, for the evening here. But um, where can people find you on social media? Where can they find out about your play? And where can they find out about your music? Okay, so we talked about jpmorrison.com, the website. Mm -hmm. And you can get the link to the music there. You can, I think you can listen to samples. We're having some problem with it. We're going to, we're going to change it out. But if, if, if anybody has a problem, they can actually write me an email through that site. Okay. And we'll, fig we'll figure out you know, a, a workaround. And there you can also find the link to my, um, the play site, which is a different uh, WordPress thing. And let's see, the Twitter handle is, uh, what is it, at James P. Morrison? Yeah. Yeah, and and the Instagram is. Oh my God, it is. what is it? <laughs> that is a good J, question. Uh, uh, at J P Morrison or no, it's it's J Page Morrison. J Page Morrison, P A I G E. And, and before you go, I want to ask you one last thing in regards to your name. Yeah, man. obviously you have this iconic name of the leather yeah. legendary. Has that ever caused a problem for you in the sense number one with people? not knowing the difference when they first hear your oh, no. name? Yeah, no, I, I, it caused a problem for me psychologically when I first got to L.A. because that's the, the first time I, it ever became an issue, frankly. Okay. Um, which I think speaks to the, to the shallowness of L.A. generally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and it did bother me for a while, but, but, you know, there's so many of us. I mean, there's, like, you know, there's a few of us. It's, a, mm. it's an incredibly common name. So I, you know, I just sort of had to make a, it, and it's hard to make a name for yourself when it's already been made. Mm -hmm. um, so I just had to sort of forget all that. I mean, I could have changed my name, um, uh, but I didn't. So eventually, I just had to go. You know what? This is me. This, I'm mm -hmm. the actor. I'm James Morrison, the actor. Um, so uh, I don't know. Some pretty talented people with this name, so I'm in good company. Definitely, definitely. And and my dad, you know, he he was a James Morrison too. So, for you, uh, music wise, <clears throat> who's your inspirations music wise? Well, you know, I'd have to go with Dylan. Okay. Bob Dylan, first of all, you know his his uh, his lyricism. I mean, yeah, he was the one that 
and, and, and you know the Beatles too. I mean, I saw them like like we all did in my generation at ten years old from mm -hmm. Ed Sullivan, and, and it changed everything. Um, you know, John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George. Uh, so I guess I guess you know there's certain contemporary guys, but those are the ones that that uh, um, you know right off the bat when I was really young that just that they they twisted my wig and just made me go. They made me look deeper at myself. Mm -hmm. So that was a gift. Well, tonight, guys, I want to thank you guys for all joining us on another edition of Hot Topic Select TV. If you guys miss this two-hour interview uh, and podcast, you can dial it back, which will air this Saturday, upcoming at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on YouTube. Search Hot Topic Celeb TV on the channel. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. You can follow myself, D-T-E-F-L-O-N, on Instagram and on all their social media networks. You can follow James on his platforms on Twitter, Facebook, and social media, and his website, jamespagemorrison.com. And James, brother, it is awesome to have you on. I love you, man. You are such an inspiration to me and Thank so many you, others out there. I hope that at some point when this craziness settles down, one, we can get together and actually do a project together because I've always wanted to do something with you. Um, I have a couple of things in the burner that I've had these characters that I've been sitting there going like, this is the guy that needs to play this role. So hopefully when the world decides that they can, A, let us all get together and play again. Second, I want to be able to, number one, be able to jam it out with you one day on a, on a session in music. And to me, as I said, if I got to be that thorn, that keeps on saying to you, man, you got to keep doing this because to me, ladies and gentlemen, if you have not heard his music, I strongly suggest when you get off this podcast, you go and take a listen and you will not be pleasantly disappointed with what you hear. It comes from the soul. It comes from the heart. And to me, when you're able to put together something real and something from the heart, you make beautiful magic. And what this man has been able to do in a career of over 30 years, in a sense, in the business as an actor, producer, father, and everything else that you do, do my friend, for society and for the world. You are a deacon of light. You spread light wherever you go. I spread light back to you. I want to send love to your family. I want to send good Thank help to Seamus. I want to Thank send you. all the, the best wishes to you and your family through these, these crazy times. And I hope that when this is done, we can all share a drink, toast to something more beautiful going forward. Thanks, D. Teflon. You're a beautiful man, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. And any last thing you want to say to the fans? Oh, yeah. I, I love you. Thank you. Um, and, and thank you for, you know, being here and for your support. Thank you, brother. I love you, Thanks, man. Thanks, D.T. We'll I love you, touch. too. Okay, Take man. Take care. Ciao. Bye.